Being introduced as an enabling low-cost frequent access to space and the best way to build a road to space, but after a failure four months ago, Blue Origin New Shepard spacecraft remains in limbo. With no move, no progress. Meanwhile, SpaceX launched seven times in January 2023, implying that its 100 launch target is more realistic than it seems. Elon Musk's monster starship is also ready for its first orbital flight. What a pitiful comparison, right? Well, let's expose everything about this in today's episode of Alpha Tech. More than four months have passed since the launch of Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket ended in failure. No humans were on board the vehicle, but it was conducting a suborbital scientific research mission, but the failure has grounded the New Shepard fleet ever since. The rocket's single main engine failed about one minute into the flight at an altitude of around nine kilometers, and it was throttling back up after passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. At that point, a large fire erupted in the BE-3 engine, and the New Shepard capsule's solid rocket motor-powered escape system fired as intended, pulling the capsule away from the exploding rocket. The capsule experienced high G-forces during the return, but appeared to make a safe landing. Three days after this accident with the New Shepard 23 mission, the bipartisan leadership of the House Subcommittee on Space and Aeronautics sent a letter to the Federal Aviation Administration calling for a thorough investigation. In an interview with ours later that month, the chair of the subcommittee, U.S. Representative Don Beyer, a Democrat in Virginia, urged Blue Origin to be transparent. I'm heavily in favor of transparency, and I'm hoping the FAA comes through pretty quickly with this, Beyer said. I would strongly encourage Blue Origin to be as transparent as possible because that builds trust. It doesn't have to be overnight, but it would be nice to keep people updated on the progress they're making. We're relieved that no humans were on board for the New Shepard 23 mission and that the abort system functioned as designed. However, just over a month ago, a New Shepard vehicle carried out Blue Origin's six human commercial suborbital flight in just over a year. The letter, written by Beyer, Democrat Virginia, and ranking member Brian Babin, Republican in Texas, states, On a different day with a different mission, this vehicle's anomaly could have put human lives in danger. However, the company has not heeded the advice. Founded by Jeff Bezos more than two decades ago, Blue Origin has largely been non-transparent with its activities during its existence, only rarely offering glimpses of its work through carefully choreographed public relation campaigns. Bezos almost never speaks with space journalists about the company's activities. This has continued with the new Shepard 23 investigation. To date, Blue Origin has said nothing publicly about the failure, its investigations, or the next steps. Based on an application file with the Federal Communications Commission last week, it appeared that Blue Origin might be targeting a time period from April 1st to June 1st of this year for its next New Shepard flight. However, a spokesperson for the company said not too much should be read into this date as it's not tied to a specific launch. As a matter of course, we submit rolling FCC license requests to ensure we have continuous coverage for launches, the spokesperson said. Another question is whether this will be an uncrewed or crewed mission. At the time of this accident, Blue Origin was flying two different New Shepard systems. The RSS HG Wells capsule was flying science missions on Booster 3, and the newer RSS First Step was flying crewed missions on Booster 4. Booster 3, which launched the failed mission in September, was the company's oldest operational rocket, making its debut in December 2017. The company has used its newest rocket, Booster 4, exclusively for human launches. It has some modifications from Booster 3 to qualify it for a human-rated rocket. Blue Origin could choose to fly a crewed mission on Booster 4, an uncrewed test flight on the rocket, or debut a new booster with modifications made as the result of learning from the New Shepard 23 accident investigation. The company did not respond to queries about which rocket would fly next and whether people would be on board. This is completely opposite to their rival, SpaceX. Elon Musk is always known for making his goals public, and you know that seems to be the motivation for the company to achieve that goal. They say it, and they make it real. Announced last August, Musk 100 launch 2023 target followed goals of 52 and then 60 Falcon rocket launches in 2022. Both 2022 goals were incredibly ambitious, with 60 requiring SpaceX to almost double its previous annual launch record. But for the first time in history, SpaceX not only met but exceeded its executive's forecast. 
The company launched 61 times in 2022, and that ties a four-decade-old Soviet record for the most launches of a single family of rockets in one year. Anywhere close to 100 Falcon launches in 2023 would crush that record. Actually, prior to 2022, however, SpaceX infamously struggled to hit the high bar set by its ever-optimistic executives. In September 2017, Musk predicted SpaceX would launch 20 times in 2017 and 30 times in 2018. They eventually launched 18 times in 2017 and 21 times in 2018. In September of 2019, COO Gwen Shotwell predicted that SpaceX would launch up to 18 by the end of the year, but the company only launched 13 rockets in 2019. The only time in the last 12 years that SpaceX's launch cadence had dropped year over year. At the same time, Shotwell, typically viewed as the adult in the room relative to much more chaotic management style, also estimated that SpaceX would launch up to 24 Starlink missions in 2020. SpaceX went on to launch 26 times in 2020. 15 were for Starlink. And finally, in October 2020, CEO Elon Musk revealed a target of 48 SpaceX launches in 2021. But instead, SpaceX launched 31 Falcon rockets, an impressive accomplishment by any measure, but still far from that internal target. Only in 2022 did all of the puzzle pieces finally click together. Representing the payoff from years of buildup, SpaceX doubled the production of Falcon rocket stages and Starlink satellites, dramatically increased the availability of its drone ships and launch pads, and launched once every six days without a single failure. One exceptional month does not necessarily translate into an exceptional year. However, SpaceX is on track to launch seven times in January 2023, and they did, implying that it could be the company's new normal. When SpaceX first launched five times in one month in December 2021, it seemed unlikely that would become the new normal. But SpaceX ultimately averaged more than five per month throughout 2022. After all, Blue Origin will definitely never catch up with SpaceX, let alone surpass this company. And that about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comment section down below. Your support motivates us to create more quality video. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.